Focus on Ability, shares the stories of people with disability finding work with Nova Employment. Narasol welcomed me with open arms. That to me speaks louder than words can. That's really, really good for me to go on RSL to accept me like I'm part of their family. These are the stories that help businesses focus on ability. Find it on your podcast app or at the podcast page at novafm.com.au. You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. G'day, I'm Bruce Hitchcock, and welcome to the Weekly Batuta News Bulletin. In this bite-sized news flash, we'll be touching on what's been happening in Batuta, Australia, and the world. Here are this week's top stories from the Batuta Advocate, Australia's oldest and most respected newspaper. In national news, we could have another leadership spill on our hands. Peter Dutton, the current Home Affairs Minister, has divided his soul into seven horcruxes this week as he announced plans to make a move on the Liberal leadership at some point in the future. As outlined in popular Anglo-Celtic folklore, a horcrux is an object in which a dark wizard or witch will hide a fragment of his or her soul for the purpose of attaining political immortality. With polls sliding and political commentators gearing for yet another leadership spill, it's believed that the former Brisbane cop, also a man who boycotted the national apology to the stolen generation and advocate for white South African farmers, is backing himself as a champion of Australian purity in a bid to take over from Malcolm Turnbull. One of our readers, Mitch Lees, commented on the story, tipping us off that Dutton has also divided his soul so he can appear on Sky News, 2GB and Sunrise simultaneously. Dutton aside, it's been a quiet week in politics, with Labor's victory in the Batman by-election pretty much the only other thing anyone's spoken about. After the Greens' loss, their leader, Richard Di Natale, has confirmed that even he doesn't know who votes for the Greens. When asked where he thinks the last bastion of Greens voters remains, the senator responded with few answers. Di Natale said, Fuck's me. Inner city Melbourne is the soy capital of Australia. We're going to fall back to Tasmania and regroup. Back in town, and the advocate caught up with a couple of first-year uni students this week who couldn't believe how loose they were for having a beer at lunch. Just look at me, said the fresh-faced uni student. Feeling buoyed by his new no-holds-barred attitude towards his studies, Hosking was even open to the idea of possibly having a few post-class bevvies back at the uni bar before making the arduous train journey back to his parents' display home on the city fringe. In other local news, a man has spoken to the Batuta advocate about the instant regret he felt after washing his hair this week. Sam Chen said, There's more life in Stephen Hawking than there is in my hair right now. Christ, I look ridiculous. What am I going to do? We didn't have the answers, unfortunately, but Bob Smith, one of our readers from Perth, has left a comment on the story, informing us that people can avoid this problem by washing their hair with dishwashing liquid. In music news, pop icon and much-loved musician Ed Sheeran has been in the country this week. Ahead of his second sold-out show in Brisbane at Suncorp Stadium a couple of days ago, the English pop star was spotted jamming a sneaky green turtle into the iconic Where's the Gold poker machine at the Broncos Leagues Club in Red Hill. It's believed that Sheeran was bored shitless in the rainy weather and felt the need to have a cheeky slap over a few jars while his security detail smoked durries on the deck. After the session, Sheeran offered a scathing review of one of the nation's most popular poker machines. Fuck where's the gold. Shit as features. In sporting news, and there's a bit of a fucking vibe in Newey right now. After two on the trot, the steel city of Newcastle is almost back to 1997 levels of excitement, as their boys in blue and red look like they might have a bit of a hum on. The spokespeople from the steelworks in Newcastle Port have confirmed that, in tribute to the two-game streak, their PA systems will be playing non-stop screaming jets and silver chair until the boys get knocked over. One construction worker said, There's a vibe around the place. We've been playing frog stomp all day. Our foreman can't stop dancing. Finally, a report has confirmed that every bloke wearing high-vis north of Rocky nearly got a start with the Cowboys. It's believed that just under 110,000 young men have trained with the Cows without really signing any contracts, so it would be hard to find if you looked it up on the internet. The report found that nearly 90.9% of all men wearing high-vis who have been living above the Capricorn line since before 1992 nearly got the call-up to play for the Cowboys, and most had a run in a few trial matches. Kane Frampton wrote in with his story saying that They couldn't handle me sidestep, mate. I had a target on my back. I had blokes hanging off me dead set. A couple of front rowers landed on me knee and that was that. 
end of an era. So that's the week that was in the Batuta Advocate. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in order to get your weekly fix of real, unfiltered and unwavering regional news. Great listeners are great learners, right? Well, hear this. Zookal has the cheapest textbooks with up to 70% off. You can even rent them. With the lowest price guarantee and free delivery for orders over 50 bucks, the only question is, what are you waiting for? Apart from the end of your podcast. From Shakespeare to marketing to essay writing to video production and everything in between, check out Zookal. Use the code Podcast for five bucks off. Zookal.com.au